What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing our review of the Mercenaries. So I wanna bring you everything. Uh, if you guys haven't known, for over the last week I have been testing and just getting early access to the season six Vessel of Hatred, shout out to Blizzard. Uh, thank you guys so much for allowing me to play. So today's video is gonna be all about the Mercenary, the review for the Mercenaries, and everything that you kind of need to know without any spoilers. Um, with the the mercenaries in general because the embargo is lifted so i'm not going to go into too much detail but i'm going to go over the mercenaries and how they feel in the game and everything that i experienced through my playthrough of the vessel of hatred so first things first let's go over here to the kind of the intro here and just talk about the uh mercenaries in general so when it comes to the mercenaries, you're going to be able to hire a mercenary and then have a reinforcement mercenary. This is already a lot. Some of this has already been information that was released um, through the PTR and like through uh, various other sources, Blizzard, Wowhead, etc. Shout out to Wowhead. So there's going to be some stuff that I'm going to expand on um, besides the information that you guys already know. So first things first is mercenaries are back we did have these in the past okay diablo 3 diablo 2 and it was a really really cool thing the biggest benefit to the mercenaries is it allowed solo players to have an additional companion with them so for people who either decided to play solo or they're not teaming up with their friends just yet it allowed you to have an additional companion with abilities and things that would assist your character and class and just overall some quality of life improvements to your gameplay experience within diablo itself so it was highly requested for the entire year we just didn't know why we didn't have mercenaries so you know we kind of pounded blizzard uh, into the ground about mercenaries and they finally gave it to us right and i think they're really really cool the first thing i do got to say about them is that they feel pretty overpowered i mean overpowered in the sense of like as a you know playing as a solo the experience is very fun it's very very fluid it's very very good i mean the mixing and matching of different mercenaries you only get four choices but the mixing and matching between all the different uh, mercenaries themselves allow you to really customize how your gameplay is going to be and how you kind of want to navigate your class in uh, like specifically so like having additional bonuses to certain abilities like attack speed or having stuff for like all res or like having things that kind of snare opponents or having things that burn opponents or having things that deal shadow damage or doing things like knocking enemies down these kind of things that just add an additional layer to your character and how you would build it is very unique in that sense. So it's very, very cool. I'm very, very happy that the mercenaries are back. So let's talk about them. You get two mercenaries per character, okay? You're going to have a hired mercenary and you're going to have a reinforcement mercenary. Okay, the hired mercenary is going to be the one that follows you around, right? That's going to one that's going to tell you what you've seen in other games like Diablo 3 and 2, where it just kind of follows you around. It's very, very cool. You're going to have one, uh, you can pick any one of the four, and then you have all these different abilities that you're going to be able to unlock with the character itself, which I think is very cool. Um, amongst the mercenaries following you they're going to earn rapport or it's their experience for example as you gain more rapport and experience with your companion or your mercenary they're going to give you some really cool items like pale marks they're going to give you some master working caches they're going to give you some really items that'll help you increase your character's power where it comes to gear that you're missing buying things etc now next is the reinforcement mercenary now this is the cool added one step further than just the normal mercenary that follows you around now although it doesn't change how the reinforcement mercenaries powers work or their abilities work you do get an additional one so the the reinforcement mercenary is the one that's kind of like sitting back in the shadows waiting to strike so the reinforcement uh, mercenary will have uh, an ability like shockwave or something else that's tied to an ability that you have so when you cast a particular ability it'll trigger the current ability that's put on the mercenary themselves all of their skills will be released as you continue to level them up and you can pick and choose depending on how you want to build your class and what you're trying to do as a solo player so 
The thing is, is that both of these mercenaries are going to be on cooldowns. So as they're using their abilities or their triggered abilities from reinforcement, they do have a cooldown. So even spamming a certain ability or having it on evade or anything like that is going to um, determine like when the, the mercenary comes out. And when it does, it has a cooldown till it can come out again into its attack or its dot or whatever ability you've assigned to the mercenary themselves. So you get two. Now, here is an additional caveat, which I'm sure you guys already know, but we got to go over it because my experience with the mercenaries during the early access playthrough has been pretty dang fun. I mean, they're so strong. I've mixed and matched them so many times. It's just really diving in and seeing which ones are really, really good for certain things, etc. It is just fantastic. Now, the reinforcement mercenary will stay with you if you are in a party. As soon as you go in a party, the hired mercenary that you have following you around will disappear, just like it normally does in other games. But the reinforcement one that you have tied to whatever trigger command, that one will still follow each and every single party member around. Or no, excuse me, not each and every single one. It'll only follow around the, or not follow around, but it'll only come out with the party leader. So whoever the party leader is will have the, their reinforcement mercenary come out and just absolutely destroy so with that said man the mercenaries through the entire campaign playthrough doing all the different end game activities hell ties you know nightmare dungeons all the normal stuff including the dark citadel as well as the undercity it has made a tremendous difference in my experience playing the game now it doesn't feel like hey i'm just so bored playing as a solo player because none of my friends are on or if i just want to go do something very quickly i have this entire like backup like i got my boys with me and we're just going through destroying everything in sanctuary so the mercenaries are a much added addition and i think the mercenaries are very very cool now a few things with the mercenaries i can't reveal too much but some of that stuff was uh things you already know so once you finish the campaign or throughout the campaign, you're going to be able to unlock all of your mercenaries. This comes towards the end game of the game, all right? The quests aren't too long. They're actually very, very good. I highly suggest that you go through and do them to not only unlock your mercenaries, but experience their little bit of a backstory and how you kind of want to add them to your party. So the quests aren't too bad. They're very, very good. They're, little, they're very, very cool little side missions to do to unlock them, which I think is very unique. Next is the little hideout that you get from having the mercenaries, which you guys have probably already seen. The hideout is very, very cool in screenshots and stuff um, from other various sources. But the hideout is great. You can do everything in your hideout, okay? You can go to the vendors. You can go to the occultist. You can go to your stash, okay? You can go buy um, things from other vendors. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop hideout. I hope that this is a like a foreshadowing to us having potential hideouts later in the game similar to path of exile which i think would be really really cool now on top of the hideout what i think is very unique and something that they added is the bartering that you can from the vendors themselves so you have one particular vendor here where you can barter all the pale uh, what are they called pale marks that you get from the rapport from leveling up your mercenaries as you're just playing through the game now this these pale marks you only get from leveling up the mercenaries and the mercenaries level up any which way so killing monsters completing campaign quests completing side quests turning in tree of whispers anything like that each and everything in the game they're going to get xp from which i think is fantastic so it shouldn't be too hard to kind of max these guys and just continuing getting the benefits from having them on your team so when you get your pale uh your pale marks you can come over to the vendor and just buy some items here which i think are very very cool so depending on what class that you are playing you're going to have particular items that you can buy from aspects and just gear in general now you can restock the supply here so you can restock and change it and it will give you different items that you can uh buy so it will cost the first one's free the next one's a cost after that but you can get a wide array of items so as you continue to unlock things in the game or through your leveling process this will help you get the stuff that you actually need so the the whole one-stop shop for the game i think is just fantastic the mercenaries seem pretty powerful in what they can do. I've tested a lot of different abilities with a lot of different mercenaries. 
Um, the only negative I can find to the mercenaries is that we only get four. We only get four to pick from, which I hope that the devs will give us some more in the future. But I think four is a fantastic start. Diablo three, we had three. Diablo two, I can't remember how many we had, but it was only a few. And I think just having this array and having the different skill abilities that they have really makes the mercenaries very beneficial for solo players. Now, the other negative to mercenaries is that we cannot gear them. You sure you guys have already heard about this, but you cannot gear the mercenaries. So it it does make it to where when I say overpowered, it seems that way because everything's based off of their skills as opposed to the gear that's on them. Because like in Diablo 3, the gear would enhance what the the mercenaries could do or your companions could do to further buff your character which is pretty cool um because it helps you not only find gear for yourself but for your merc mercenary as well but in diablo 4 you cannot do that so it's only based on skill or their skills so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different to experience that uh because it, it just seems like they're very overpowered in that way besides that guys the mercenaries are very, very good. The only other negative to mercenaries is they cannot join you in the Dark Citadel. They do not count as a companion. You have to have another actual real player with you to do it. So with that said, the mercenaries are a great addition actually having being able to play through like the game in like an extensive period, not just for a little bit of time and really seeing how powerful they actually are. So big win for solo players and players who don't want to play with other people and i think it's just good for overall quality of the game so like the video guys thank you so much for watching comment down below let me know what you guys think about mercenaries and let me know if you're a solo player and don't forget to subscribe guys as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace